Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, you're going to learn how to make custom color corrections or LUTs in Lens Studio. All the resources that I'm using in order to make this lens are linked down below. A link to over a hundred Lens Studio custom color corrections that I've made are also linked down below. You can check them out as well and add them into your lenses. And yeah, let's create. The first thing that we will need to make a custom color correction is a base color correction. You can find this in the official website of Snap. I will link this website down below. You can go check it out. In order to download the color correction, scroll down until you see the download color correction lookup table. Then click on download the base lookup table. You can go here and save this image. Once that's done, you can make the custom color correction in a bunch of different softwares. I'm going to explain the easiest way, which is doing it in Google Photos. I'm also going to explain how to do the same in Photoshop and Lightroom. You can use either of these in order to make a custom color correction. You can also use other photo editing softwares, including the ones you get on your phone. Just follow along and you will understand how exactly you can make a color correction. First, Let's see how we can make a color correction in Google Photos. Upload the base color correction that you just downloaded into Google Photos. Then upload a picture of anyone that you'd like in order to see what color correction you can do. I'm going to go into the picture. I want to add the color correction to go to edit. Then you can use the filter options here. There are a bunch of ones here. What you can also do is go into base adjustments and change a bunch of things here. Increase exposure, contrast. I'm going to go ahead and make the changes. You can make this however you would like it. I think this is looking good for now. Once you reach a place that you are happy with, go to more options and click on copy edits. You can also do this with the shortcut of Ctrl C. Once that's done, go into your base color lookup table, wherever you saved it. Then paste edits. You can see that the changes are made into this color lot as well. All you have to do now is save this as a copy. Then download the edited file. This is how you make a custom color correction using Google Photos. Once you're done with this, skip to this time code in order to see how you can use this color correction inside your lens. If you want to make a color correction using Photoshop, Lightroom or any other such softwares, here's what you'll have to do. First, add in a reference picture of anyone that you would like to use. You can also use pictures of people with different skin tones. For now, I'm going to use this picture. Once that's done, Add in your base color lookup table, which you downloaded from the website. I'm going to increase the size of it. I'm going to place it here and hit OK. Now we have a base picture and we have a base color lookup table. Once this is done, you can make changes to this using adjustment layers. As you would like, what you can also do is group them together. I'm going to duplicate this using Ctrl and J and then merge the layers. Then go into filter and camera raw filter. This will work the same way as Lightroom would. You can increase the exposure, change the contrast, highlight shadows, make the picture how you would like your custom LUT to be. I'm going to spend a little bit of time to change this around. Make sure you just change these values and not the texture values. Otherwise, you're going to get a grainy color correction. Once this is done, you can also change the values of the curves and make any other changes that you would like. Once you reach place that you're happy with, you're going to go and click OK. We will need just the color correction. To do that, go to crop and crop this right until we reach the right point. I'm going to click on OK, click on Export. This is how you make a custom color correction using Photoshop, Lightroom or any other such softwares. A free alternative to Photoshop is Photopea, which you can also use in order to make a custom color correction. Now that we have created a custom color correction, it's time to use it in our lens. 
In order to make a lens with custom color correction, you're going to go to Objects, hit Plus, go to Color Correction. You can choose any of these right here, but considering that I am making a custom color correction, I'm going to click on Empty. When you click Empty, this is the texture that's being used. This is the base texture that we found on the website. In order to use your own, you'll need to locate your file. And I'm going to drag and drop this into my resources. You can see that my custom color correction is added here. Then go to empty and add this into textures in post effect. You can see that the custom color correction is now added. You can change the opacity of this using alpha. And yeah, this is how you make and use a custom color correction or a custom LUT in your lenses. If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.